All right, uh, we're going to make another video. I'll show you charge extraction. So the second mission along the list um, of campaign missions. Jürgen is the best character when playing solo insane because you've got your invisibility and your satchel acting as a grenade. Again, weapons are the carbine with resourcefulness, explosive rounds and lead poisoning. You can change out a couple of them, but I think that resourcefulness and explosive rounds are must-haves. Also using the SMG with the extended mag and the holster helper being the key part. Holster helper and weakness exploitation because they synergize really well. Might just make a different colour. Classic probably looks better with my outfit. Uh, so charge extraction on insane is not too difficult really. Uh, you run mine seeding and shot grenades are my two preferred ones. You can mix those up to what uh, suits you. Because we're playing on insane we're gonna have to get six crates so a good spot would be Alton Valley because we're going over to this location here. So that way if we start at Alton Valley we can run through harbour up to the hills and then we should be uh, all honky dory. Uh, in charge extraction what you are needing to do is to get what is it? Six uh, shipping containers and then go blow up a hive. It's a little bit more annoying to play solo because you've got two mine carts that you need to push at the same time. But I'll discuss that uh, when I get to it because they can be. It's not that it can be annoying, you just gotta make sure you're going between them at roughly similar time frames. So starting up, because we've got an egg straight away, because I will be getting, uh, I will be going for 5 star. The best spot to put your egg uh, boxes is about there, because this spot, that one, and that one will give you all 8 eggs. So you don't need to worry about being anywhere else, you'll get 2 and 2, and then the top one will have 4. So typically you want to be going... Um, the most efficient way is that. Oh, I'm gonna go grab that um, was it drone before he goes too far around the other way though because he'll be annoying. Uh, in charge extraction if you hit the drones they will mark out how far each of the uh, each of the supply containers and where they're located. Again, typically if you're running through the raptors, you won't take damage. It's when you stop to fight them, that's when they'll hit you. So a good strategy you can often utilize is just keep swimming or just keep moving. So Dory had the right idea in Finding Nemo when she was just telling people just keep moving. That's what uh, the biggest asset in this game is your ability to move. Like. They're, you're you're very quick. You outrun the raptors, provided you go the right ways and don't you know take the knee and stuff like that. But yeah, you're always quicker. And if they do charge at you, you can just move either side, and that will probably be fine. And then resourcefulness. I've shot quite a few raptors already, and I've only used three bullets. So if you're keeping track of bullets, because I'll get ammo back from kills, it means that you're not uh, needing to have ammo as often. You will still need it, but uh, more so when you're fighting uh, Styratosauruses and uh, Ankies and the, the big dinos, basically. Okay, so seeing as there's not a um, I should check there. Uh, seeing as there's not an infestation just to my uh, to the west to my right, um, that means that there will be one further along. So knowing that means that it means that there's the black box, and so I can look at the different black box locations. One of the potential spots it could have been was just up there. It wasn't because I looked, but another potential location is straight across as well. And if it's not directly across the harbour, I'll just go in this. 
So you'd be able to see it, it would be over there. It doesn't appear to be, you can't see any smoke. Well, I can't see any smoke. Alright, I'll just go grab the drone so we know where the, um, the containers are. The drone's actually not necessary, but if you are doing it and you don't know where all of the locations are, the drone is really helpful. My mouse does not want to hold at the moment, which is quite irritating, but that's alright. Alright, so the two locations I did check, because there will be the black box here, it's actually going to be up there, so too far away. The other locations are just down here, and just... Oh, should have been paying attention to that. Um, and just over... I'll show in two seconds once I'm not getting attacked whilst I try and show the map. Uh, it would be also just here. Those are the three locations that the black box will spawn from that one location. So knowing that information is helpful. I do have a black box video uh, that showcases all of their locations. If you're interested in that. Uh, it's incomplete at the moment with just a couple of spots, but I'm waiting for Agar Hills to go red again before I finish it up because I'm missing all of the Agar Hill locations because it hasn't been red for so long. It's been months and months with it just being in green or orange. So once that um, goes red, I'll update that video and I'll have a video that has every black box location. And with which, uh, which black box uh, dropship will give the rougher thing. I'm aware that didn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say and I'm not getting the correct words out. But that's alright. I suppose that's the problem with trying to gameplay and talk at the same time. Uh, so because I am going for 5 stars, I will go across and get rid of the infestation on the way. Infestations are great ways to get research points quickly as they're worth 10 points each to destroy the hollows and it is an 84 point task in total. So that means that you will, in theory, get 130 points plus the killing of the dinos and any materials as well. Uh, what you can do with holster helper is you can just spam out your um, your gun and then it will give you its bullets back. Or will reload for you, not give you your bullets back, you don't get your bullets back. But that does make things a lot easier. If you wanted to wait for whatever that was, whether it was an ammo or equipment, you could. Uh, when fighting a Styratosaurus, you can poison them, shock, and then just shoot them in the side. Again, that's why the SMG is so good, because it will shoot quickly. It doesn't do huge amounts of damage, but when paired with the carbine's poison, and with the uh, shocking them with the grenades, you will do more damage than a traditional SMG shot. When you need to, you can go invisible. So, for doing things where you are not focused on dinos, that's a great uh, strategy as well. So, again... Oh, I'm meant to use my grenade, not go invisible. I'm meant to shoot him, uh, poison him, shock him, then grenade him, and then go invisible. I misclicked and clicked my F, but that's alright. I've uh, I changed my keybinds a lot, so typically it's E is what people have their ability on. I use E for um for using. I find that that's a better keybind for me, but that again, all depends on how you like to play the game. Similar to how if you were playing League of Legends you'd put F on Flash or F on D, F on, yeah, and F for Flash, but that's a controversial topic at the best of times. Uh, so now all I'm doing, I still need one um, container, but I know that I can get them just running through here because Agar Hills will have three. Each um, 
each zone has three shipping containers and they have two possible locations or two possible spawn patterns for the three just about everything has two possible spawn locations uh, there is a map that has been created in the discord by uh, restrained raptor who's someone who's very active on the uh, discord server and he's uh, put a lot of effort into creating a, a very high class map I might even put a link to it in the description if you don't have it, if you haven't seen it, I'd suggest you check it out. It's very useful. Especially, it, it might be a lot to take in straight away, but he has put it in a way that should be fairly easy to follow. Uh, what we've got now is we're just running towards the mines. Uh, I'll go up and I'll get the radar relay on my way through as well. Just because I am going for the five stars. And seeing as we're going for five stars, we might as well get the research now. Because you don't get a lot of research when you are completing this mission in particular. You'll get some dino kills, and I think it's 40 points at the end. Whereas some of the other missions give quite a lot more. So I'll go through, I'll get the, um, the shipping container and the camp, and then we'll start the, uh, start the mission. Where I'll show you how you do it solo by running backwards and forwards. And essentially you just you just keep running. You just keep moving through things. The biggest thing, as I've said multiple times, is you need to keep moving at all times. If you're not moving, you are likely going to find yourself in some trouble. It's even things like looking at your map can get you killed, as you saw before. So in this one, you've got to call down explosives and put three on each minecart. So if you have multiple people, typically you'd get one to um, chuck two on here and the other person would run straight up the top. So that you uh, didn't have to waste time. And then the, and the person who did the bottom one, they would do the, the final. They'd do two, basically. Oh, that's a, still a bug. Um, when you get knocked down, it will just shoot all your ammo, which can be annoying. Uh, when you're doing this, you want to start both of them at the same time. You hit both. Uh, a takes longer than B, so you start B first, and then you'll run. Because you can start B's second point now. Then you have to run back to A, and if you can just do a little jump and slide down this way, and you shouldn't take a knee, which you're saving marginal seconds, so it's not really that big of a deal what way you run. Then you'll just wait for A to go down, and then you go towards B again. And then we just listen to Sarah talk a lot, because that's just what she does. So then you want to run straight across. You want to knock out these raptors. There's always two electrics there, at least on insane. I don't play on normal or on hard difficulty, so I'm not the best at knowing where each of the spawns for those are. But you want to get B to go across first, and then you bring the um and then you bring the the lift down and as soon as you click the lift across you can click the lift to go down it won't be a big deal then once it's down you will want to um start this one off and then go back to B again so it's really about running to each of the spots consistently because you should get here just as um, yeah, just as you need to be. And again, stopping to shoot all of the dinos is not necessary. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a thing on normal and hard, where you have to blow up the extra part. I think that's based, that's on insane, where that becomes an issue. Where they add an extra, extra step, where you have to blow up the minecart.
just get my Just get my gun to work properly. This would be a lot better. Uh, at the moment, I'm struggling really of getting my um, my left click to hold. Uh, I can click that and click that at the same time. Yeah, I was a little bit slow on that. I was um, yeah. I think I've used my mouse too much, and I'm in need of a new one. I've spent too much time holding my aim down sight button and now it's a little bit janky but I don't need to spend money on a mouse it's just more of an annoyance so I'm not going to spend money on a mouse if I don't have to okay. uh, I should have probably started the A one already but that's okay, okay. and then uh, for this Jumping up there is actually more of a nuisance than you want it to be. You're actually better off just to jump straight across the lift, I find. Because I've found that um, jumping up some of the different locations sometimes doesn't quite work the way it's intended. Now that I've got time to wait, this is where I would heal and use some of the ammo that's popped around. So that I'm not getting myself in too much strife. Then I'll be able to run through and just start both of them and then get out. Uh, the quickest way I've found to run out is to start at A, go to B, and ignore the hollows. They're not worth it. They're not worth the time it'll take to shoot them down and the dinos that will spawn on top of you if you do so. It will always be I'll run straight up this way. I believe it to be the quickest ex, um, extraction way, but I also don't try many others. I found one that I like, I know exactly where I'm running, I can do it in my sleep, so that's what I do. As most people, we are all creatures of habit. I remember the first time I did this, I was very confused of, as to what was happening, or where, and I got stuck going around in circles which I'm sure happens to a lot of people. Uh, what we have now is we don't look at explosions because we're cool. Cool kids don't look at explosions. So now we're 12.50, so we're at about, was it 900 or 8.50, if you want correct math, um, until we get the 2100 points. So what we'll do is we'll um, come out here and because we've got a black box in this spot, oh, if I could go, because there's a dropship there, there's also a Rex, we'll fight that just for the, the sake of it. Because there's a black box here, I know that it's either in up the top here, over there, or here somewhere. And I already saw the um, the smoke just before, so I knew that it was going to be up here. Again, knowing where all of the black box locations uh, could spawn is just through playing the game too much. I also... Obviously, I, I looked into where all of them were, and um, then helped with uh, making some of the map that uh, Restrained Raptor has made, which did, well, I imagine is helpful to some people. If it's not, well, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Yeah, was there a Rex down there? I thought I saw one. Maybe not. That's right. I do have a video that shows roughly where the Rexes could spawn as well. Uh, when this happens, you're just waiting for 30 seconds, a minute, might be a minute. I feel like it's more likely a minute that you're waiting for it to uh, charge up, as you can see the little charges. It's worth, it's, I think it's 28 points, but it might be different in, la uh, in ladder planes. Oh no, it is the same. Sometimes I'm finding that there are the amount of research you get for each thing changes on regions, which I think is just um, a mistake in some of the coding. But I haven't paid enough attention to bother um, sending through anything to the devs yet. Uh, if you did want to cheese on some of those, you can stand on top of them. 
and you won't get hit. Let's make sure I don't get hit by that. But again, cheese strategies are they're they're just a bit how you going. I don't like cheese strategies in this. Because the game's not that hard that you need to cheese. Like, I suppose you could say a cheese strategy is what I do with um Jurgen and just abusing his invisibility. But technically that's his his thing. just because we can. Typically I don't even bother. Uh, we're about 1600 points now so we're close to where we need to be. I might start extracting and repairing over here. That'll probably get us fairly close. I'll grab this first. Uh, there are f um, fairly standard locations where dinos will be. So there's always two raptors just in that. And you'll typically always have a Styrannosaurus, whether armoured or otherwise, that will um, show up as well. I don't know what's going to happen when it goes through. Does it go through and move him? <laughs> That's cool. I wasn't sure what was going to happen there. Yeah. Again, you want to go invisible. I wonder if that's going to launch up the Styrannosaurus. Oh, that would have been cool if it did. So again, you just keep moving. And if you had a better mouse than me, this would be much easier. I don't know why it's uh, playing up the way that it is. So what I'll do now is I'll heal up, or repair, not heal up, I'll repair uh, this extraction point. So it'll get um, uh, uh, hollows that will spawn in over there, there, and the other one that I showed. You want to get rid of those quickly to have your best chance at survival because uh, where we are now at Lada Plains, you get uh, Ankies on the events. Like each area has um, a preference to whether it spawns bulls or ankylosauruses and it is the northern four and then the southern three that is how it works I'll talk about that properly in a moment if I get a chance to bring my own if I get a chance to bring my map up but yeah, it's the northernmost ones will bring Ankies. What we're gonna do is we're gonna um, go invisible. Just do is just run around. I might explain it at the end part because I don't think I'm going to get a chance to look at my map without running the risk of dying. And I'd rather not die. It's easier if you don't die. I think that's. that's be, I don't think that needs to be explained very much. The game is easier if you just don't die. Oh, and if you pay attention with that other Anki is. Whew, Alright, again, Jürgen is broken for a reason. And there's a lot of Ankies there now. Yeah, the reason I don't particularly like um, fighting Ankies is because they're only worth 8 points and they take ages to kill. In comparison. In comparison to bulls, anyway. But that's alright. Because uh, I'm extracting in a red area, I only have to get to 20, uh, 60 points. Or actually 2058, or 2058, if you need more uh, info than that. And then you will gain um, 42 points upon extracting. 
Yeah, I won't even need to worry about it because I've got. Um, yeah, because I've got so much already. But if you were playing for just, just in case. I don't think there's any Ankies. If there's no Ankies, you can just spend the time to do it this way, where you um, you can just explode on, or unload on them. No. And so there, that's five starring on a charged extraction. I'll talk through what I was uh, gonna say about the map in just a moment, and then I'll end the video just so I've got that part done. That wasn't too long. Again, that was 5 star in under 25. So that was quicker than the homebound one that, I, um, that I've that i done. Where are we? This loading screen does take a smidgen. Let's see if anything good. I don't get a lot of good stuff anymore. Uh, so 2343 to get a solo um, 5 star. You can get that down much lower as well. Uh, so what I was talking about was uh, Agger Hills, Alton Valley, Tanis... Oh, it's the top... Oh yeah, I misspoke. It's the North 3 that have Anki spawns. And then... Hopefully it's just going to let me do this. So then... Oh, whatever. Uh, so the North 3, so Magna, Nova and Ladder, they will spawn out Ankies when you're extracting or are more frequently to spawn out Ankies. Voltus, Ultim, Tannis, and Agar, they typically will run bulls upon extracting. You can still find Ankies and bulls in all of them, but you are more likely in the other locations. But that's uh, where we're at, and happy dino hunting!